One of my favorite mobilizations of the ankle as a physio is that we can work on this long lever position and dorsiflexion. And what I do is I come over the top, right at the sort of malleolus here, and I maintain that position, and then I use overpressure with my leg, take it to end range, and then I can work on that joint without the foot collapsing. So instead of just dorsiflexion and then collapse, I'm trying to maintain the integrity, keep that window open. Hand here, I go in forward, and then I just mobilize in these corners towards this end position. We can be active, contract, relax, do all that there. But this is definitely classic joint capsule. And that's why we were trying to put the band here so many years ago. How can we improve this and have the person do it? Well, let me show you a super friend version of this. So this time, I'm gonna just hold Lux's foot, and then she's gonna move. So this is a great, very safe situation. My foot, my hands are coming underneath in her arch just to keep her supported, just like an arch support. And then I just reach over, and I'm just blocking that foot. So now, that foot is in what we would call subtalar neutral, ankle in the middle. This is gonna give a lot of room in the capsule and not have the joint collapse. I block here or come over the top, but sometimes I come here to hold. And then she just moves her knee forward as far as she can. My job is to keep the heel on the ground. And then she's gonna come out and then come back and forward. And if this is too painful on your fingers because Lux is crushing me, of course you can put an Airx pad underneath here. But we can also do this in a couple other positions or another position. So we've got Lux gliding forward. I'm just holding that down. And then she can work in a variety of rays and vectors. She could drive her knee out and just find the corner where she feels the most restricted. My job is just to keep the foot from moving. So all I'm doing is holding the foot, she moves in that position. We can also have her step forward and a little bit further. So now that foot is a little bit more in uh, hip extension and I can work on long lever dorsiflexion, which is really where most people need their dorsiflexion. So now she can move the knee forward. It doesn't go as far. And the more she brings that hip into extension by stepping forward with the other leg, then this dorsiflexion starts to go shorter just because the leg is straighter. But it's an important distinction that we're working on dorsiflexion in a variety of positions, not just squat shapes, but also lunge shapes. So play with that. Chances are no one's going to go blind. You're not going to injure someone. Why? Because you're holding their foot.